بسم الله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي ويلكم ان ذا لاست داي ان يونج مسلم بروجرام اكتوبر 2022 ات مسجد الخليل اند اونلاين ات اهل السنة والجماعة فيسبوك and رواق العلمي تيليجرام شانل and today is the harvest today is the harvest of the fruits today we will take the the وصول remember the وصول is the fruits of the program we mentioned that when you start to learn knowledge You need to learn first the usul, which is the, uh, what is the usul? The foundation to attain or to gain the usul, which is the fruits. So during these five days, we learn the usul, the foundation. So today I expect that I will have the usul, the, the fruits. So I'll quickly do a, a revision on every subject we have here. And then we do a big, big, big quiz, about 40 questions, yes, but we'll cover all that we, we started here. So let us focus on the lesson because all the questions will be from the lesson. The first subject we studied here is Al-Adab, the manner, Akhlaq, Etiquette, and every science should have adab to learn it. Even the chemistry, the, the physics, if you don't have adab in learning the chemistry or the English, you will not take the fruits of the subject. So we explain the adab is a very important before you start your seeking knowledge. And Imam Abdullah ibn al-Mubarak al-Khurasani said a beautiful statement. What he said, who can remember? Huh? Anyone, Arabic for example. Hmm. He learned the adab for how many years? 30 years. And then he learned the ilm or the knowledge for the 20 years. And Imam Malik, who's Imam Malik? Hmm. One of the four Imams of the Madhab Sunnah. He's the uh, Imam of Darul Hijra, the house of uh, migration, which is in Medina. And he said, "Ta'allamu al-adab qabla talab al-'ilm." Means learn the adab before learn or seeking the Islamic knowledge. Also, we mention what is the opposite word of ilm in English, in Arabic. Hmm. Huh? Jahl, ignorance. So we have two opposite words. The ilm is opposite to al-jahl. And also we mentioned that there's something in your deen, every single person should learn it. Like you need to learn how to pray. We call this huh, fard, huh? fard ayn, means obligatory on every individual. And there is a fard kifaya, means not compulsory for everyone, like learning Arabic, for example. It's compulsory to learn Arabic. It is just a group of people learn Arabic is enough for the rest of the ummah. So we have two types of learning, the fard ayn, which is obligation or individual obligation on everyone, and fard kifaya, which is communal means it's not individual for the rest of the ummah if they did it they will enough for the other and then we mention the method of learning there is a foundation method to start learn the knowledge any kind of knowledge the first one hmm, purify your heart to purify your heart from what from kibr arrogance hasad Envy, react, showing off. All this should be comes out from your heart. 
Because if you start learning knowledge and you still have this disease, you will not gain the fruits of knowledge. The second is ikhlas, sincerity. You need to be sincere. Why you learn? Why do you learn? To be a scholar and the people point to you, this is a scholar. Is it, is it the aim? No. You learn to worship Allah correctly. It's the most important thing you need to know. You learn to invite the other for the deen. You learn to teach the other the deen. So you need to have this intention. Then, what is the third method you should do it? Mm. You need to seek help from Allah Azza wa Jal because don't think that you are able to have the knowledge by yourself. Even you are, you have a good teacher, a good sheikh, but if Allah Azza wa Jal uh, did not give you the guidance, you are not able to learn. So you need to ask Allah to the help. Then you need to keep this knowledge by either memorization of the knowledge, hips, by keeping it in your heart, or by writing, kitaba. Writing means kitab. And they, then you need to know the ulum, the foundational science. What is the foundation science of Islamic studies? Hmm? Tafsir, which is explanation of Quran. Sharh al-Hadith, which is of Hadith. Aqeedah, believe. Fiqh al-Ibadat, the worship, fiqh, the rules of worship. What is the mu'amalat? Yeah, your relation between each other. Okay. Then you need to have taqwa, to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. And if you fear Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah will teach you. Allah will give you the knowledge. And we remember the speech of who's? Ali ibn Abi Talib, radiallahu anhu, he said, the taqwa is fearness from Allah, huh? practicing the, the revelation, and satisfaction with the little, and preparation for the last day. Then, you need to have sabr, to be patient, to have your knowledge. And then remember, in order to keep your knowledge uh, in your mind, you need to record it. So recording the knowledge is very important. And Abdullah ibn Abbas, who is a cousin of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, إِنَّمَا سُمِّيَ الْإِنسَانُ لَأَنَّهُ أَخَ أُعْطِيَ الْمِيثَاقُ وَلَكِنَّهُ نَسِي So the human, or the man, called the insan because he was entrusted with the, with the covenant, but he forgot. So, insan from forgetfulness. So this is the first um, lesson we learned, al-adab. Then we have the aqidah, not aqidah, sorry, the hadith. We read, as we know, from the 40 Nawawis, al arbaun al nawawiyya li imam al nawawi And the first hadith is about, you should say, I believe in, I believe in Allah, and then you to be steadfast. So once you believe in Allah, Azza wa Jal, you need to show that in your behavior. Because when you believe in Allah, means that you believe is Allah Azza wa Jal is looking to every action you are doing. Allah recording or the Malaika, Allah gives the Malaika the entrust to record every action on their sheets. So once you believe in Allah, you need to stay fast and be straight in your way. Then the next hadith about the charity or about the doing deeds. We mentioned that the purity is half of belief. What is the purity? Give me an example of the purity in ibadah. Mm. Wudu, ablation, what else? Cleaning, shower, ghusl. So the the, the purity is half of the belief because if you don't have cleanliness you are not able to pray your salah will be invalid also saying alhamdulillah 
will fill the scale. By the way, if there is scale in the hereafter, it has two panels. And every person, his, his a'mal, his deeds will be weighed. And himself will be weighed as well. And also, the sheets of the record, of recording sheet of the, of the deeds will be weighed. So there are three things will be weighed. First, yourself. Second, your a'mal. Third, the sheet that recorded uh, by the malaika. So there are two skills, or the two bandits of the skills. And also the salah is light. The salah is a very important, especially for you to start now practicing the salah. Because if you delay practicing the salah, it will be hard on you if you become old. So salah is a very important, and an sadaqah, the charity, is a proof that you are believer. Because everyone want to catch the money in his hand and don't spend the money. So when you spend the money, this is a proof that you are a believer. Also, Al-Quran will be hujjah and evidence, either for you or against you. If you memorize the Quran and leave the Quran without revision, the Quran will be evidence against you because you didn't, didn't care the effort to revise the Quran. Also, if you memorize the Quran, especially some of the surahs that have akhlaq and adab and manab, like Surah Al-Nur, for example. These surahs have al-hujurat as well. If you have learned this surah and then you practice opposite the surah rules, this also will be evidence on you as well. So you need to be careful when you know the surah and you know the, the verse, you need to practice the surah. And then we mention that what is the minimum requirement for the person to enter their paradise? Mm. If he prayed the five day salah and fast Ramadan and eat the halal or he makes the, the lawful in his life and prohibit the haram and if he didn't do more than that he will take the guarantee to enter the Jannah and we explain that halal means the lawful you need to be careful when you eat you need to be careful when you drink you need to stay away from the haram and we mentioned there's some thing in, in food we need to avoid it like ham or big khanzir and also dog donkey the domestic one but the the wild one it's allowed to eat the horse you can allow to eat the cattle the cow the, the goods the sheep all that so this is very important to know uh, how you attain the jannah uh, then the next hadith about the rightness or the, the charity in Islam actually. Charity is a very important in your life. Because charity is express that you spend your money in the proper way. And many people didn't know that charity is not it is not only the money. Charity could be a good word. Charity could be resolving the conflict between two people. You you judge between them justly, justly. And charity also could be that if you see something in the street which block the street and you remove it, this kind of charity. Hmm? Yes, smiling in your face of your brother also a charity. So this is an example of charity. Then the next one, Sira. What is the meaning of Sira, by the way? The life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From the birth to the death. First, you need to, in order to show in order to express that the, your love to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and to have a complete belief of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, you need to do how many? 
طيب فيرست التصديق بما اخبر الائتمار بما امر الانتهاء عما نهى وزجر التشبه التشبه به ظاهرا وباطنا الصلاة عليه عند ذكره. So the first thing you need to believe what he informed us. You need to follow what he commanded us. You need to stay away from what he prohibited on us. You need to copy him in his appearance, in his future, in his sunnah, in his ibadah, in his way of life. And also when you hear his name, say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So you need to be careful in your life by practicing the Sunnah al-Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You need to know the name of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his kunya is Abu Al-Qasim. Abu Al-Huz Al-Qasim, his son, and his name Abu Al-Qasim. So who is Abu Al-Qasim Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abd Al-Muttalib ibn Hashim ibn Abd Manaf ibn Qusay ibn Kilab ibn Murra ibn Ka'b ibn Ru'ay ibn Ghalib ibn Fihr. Fihr, remember this name. Fihr is another name of Quraysh. So Quraysh has another name which is Fihr. Remember this name. ابن فهر بن مالك بن النضر بن كنان بن خزيمة بن مدركة بن إلياس بن مضر بن نزار بن معدن بن عدنان. so but you need to know at least four محمد أبو القاسم محمد ابن عبد الله ابن هاشم. see the first thing. then you you need to know that رفض محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم Born on the Amul Fil, the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the elephant years, and there is uh, two opinions between the scholar about the exact day. The ninth, some scholar, group scholar, said it is the ninth of Rabi'ul Awwal, and the other mentioned it is the twelfth of Rabi'ul Awwal. So whatever uh, uh, is, is uh, but still in Rabi'ul Awwal. Then you need to know. What is his name? There are some names of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad, Ahmed, Al-Mahi, Al-Hashir, Al-Aqib. Muhammad and Ahmed are common. Al-Mahi means he erased the kuf. Because when he, Allah Azza wa Jal sent him, he erased the kuf. And Al-Hashir. And because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the resurrection day, he will lead his ummah to the Jannah. And Al-Aqib means he's the last prophet, no prophet after him. So he's a Muhammad, Ahmed, Al-Mahi, Al-Hashir, Al-Aqib. Then, when he born, he start take milk, uh, uh, breastfeeding from his mom, Amina, and there are three other than his mom. One of these is Thuwayba. And Thuwayba is the slave of Abu Lahab. خلاص. And also Halima al Saadiya. And one woman from Bani Saad. We don't know the name of her. But there are three external breastfeed mom other than his mother. And then there are, he has a brother from breastfeeding. Because breastfeeding, if someone breastfeed uh, from uh, a woman and another person or another girl's breastfeed as well, they became a brothers in breastfeeding. So he cannot marry her. He cannot marry her. So the same like a sister in blood. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has brothers and sisters in breastfeeding. Thuwayba, she has sons, Masruh, and also she breastfeed Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib. Who's Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib? His uncle. So he, he is also his uncle, as well as he is brother in breastfeeding. And also Abu Salama, 
another Sahabi gives Sahabi. So he has Masruh and Hamza voice. And Abu Salama. From Halima, he has brothers as well. Abu Sufyan ibn Harith. And also he has a Shayma, the very famous uh, sister uh, from breastfeeding. Then we mention when he was four years old, the Malak, the angel Jibreel, came and opened his chest and wash his heart with a Zamzam water. And before that, we mentioned the Zamzam water or the will of Zamzam digged by whose first one? Jibreel alayhi salam during the story of uh, Hajar and Ismail. And also, uh, we mentioned that before the birth of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, there was a, a very great event which is Amul Fil. And we mentioned that Abraha, who is the prince of Al Yaman, came to demolish and destroy the Kaaba with 12 elephants. But Allah Azza wa protected his house by sending a bird. Each bird has how many stones? Three stones. Each stone has a name of the person and throw it and kill that person. Then, we mentioned that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu his mom passed away while he was six years old in a place between Mecca and Medina called Al Abwa. And who looked after after his mother? His grandfather Abdul Muttalib. And then when he passed away, his uncle Abu Talib looked after. And when he was 12 years old, he went to Asham and he met with one of the Christian, uh, what's called? Yeah, and he. Uh, foreseen the sign of prophethood and he said to his uncle send him back to, Madi to Mecca because if the Yahud, the Jews saw him he will, they will kill him so this so far most of the lessons that cover during these four days and now we will do a big big quiz about 40 questions covering all these questions or this subject and you need to be ready for this now. Yalla, would you please? But you stay here. Yes. With which one you want to use? Okay. But stay here. Now this one same away. So let us do the quiz for for about forty questions. Hopefully you finish before Isha, inshallah. <laughs> okay, bismillah. Yalla. Yalla, sit down. Yeah, all together we'll be played one. Okay, uh, can you go with Kahoot, please? I will send the link uh, in the Facebook so anyone can join. So the passcode or the password is one four zero six five three five. Again, the count number is. One four zero six. Five three five. Yalla, Habibi. Would you please go with the same name? Maybe from home. <laughs> Still waiting for more. Hmm, ready? Hmm, anyone have any problem? Omar, you want to use my mobile? Omar, Omar, what, you see Omar? You want to use my mobile? 
You want to use my mobile? Okay. Mm. Anyone uh, have a problem? Ready? Yeah, let's start quickly. I may not stay, may, may not wait for the, the answer. Maybe stop after maybe five, ten seconds. So be quick. First question. Okay. Uh, man has been called insane because he. Mm, yalla. Yalla. Next one. Need to answer quickly. I will not leave all the, the minute. Uh, the, the, uh, the second. Next one. Kitaba means. Yalla. One, two, three, four, five, six. You need to be quick. All the question, you know it. You need to be quick. Next one. Tafsir Quran is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yalla, quickly. Yalla, next one. Sharh al Hadith is. One, two, three, four. I will leave five seconds only, okay? Yalla, quickly. You need to be quick. Yalla, five seconds only. Aqeedah. What is Aqeedah? Islamic belief, Islamic rules, Islamic manner, Islamic law. Yalla, next. Taqwa is. Fear Allah, following the revelation, satisfaction with the little, all the above. <laughs> Example of charity art. One and two, judge and good word. All of the following and looks alike Prophet Muhammad sallam, except Fatima his daughter, Jafar his cousin, Al Hassan his grandson, Ali ibn Abi Talib. We mentioned it before. Yalla, let's go. Who's the look alike Prophet Muhammad sallam, outside his tribe, Bani Hashim? Al Hassan Al Hussein Al Sa'id Ibn Zayd Ibn Yazid Ali Ibn Abi Talib. I think you, you remember from last time. Okay. Number 10. Al Sa'id Ibn Zayd is the third grandfather of which Imam? Abu Hanifa, Shafi'i, Malik, or Ahmed Ibn Hanbal? Shafi'i. Number 11. Prophet Muhammad Sallam Mahdab passed away when he was 4, 8, 6, 12. Quickly. Yalla, quickly. You need to be fast. Number 12. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went to his uncle to, uh, to Sham when he was 25. Uh, no, no, no. Yes. 12. <laughs> Yalla, quick last one. And this... Uh, Kusan monk named the Bahira Rahib met Prophet Muhammad Sallam. He has foreseen the sign of good manner, sign of prophethood, sign of adab, sign of good voice. Still, still, still. So this is the first one. When we finish that, we go to the next one immediately. No need to register again. So this, this is a, this one. This is the first, this one. Maiza, mashallah. Yalla, uh, get ready for the next one quickly. Yalla, start the same. Anyone? The same one. Oh. Go again, please. Go again, please. Go again, please. Stay, stay. Go again. One, four, zero, six, five, three, five. Don't exit from the 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 quiz. Alas, why why you exit? 
We lost four. Oh, anyone stuck? Yalla, quickly. The bill is one four zero six five three five. What do you think? Yalla. Five is Halaf? Yalla, halaf? Mm. Yalla, bismillah. Young Muslim Quran quiz. Three, two, one. Ten questions. Which of the following are foundation method of learning knowledge? Purifying the heart, seeking the aid, memorization, all of the above. Before you start seeking knowledge, you should have sincerity, adab, money, one and two. Yeah, quickly. The mutun of knowledge is hadith, tajweed, chain of narrator, text of Islamic knowledge. We mention mutun. The matri is what? It is a text. Next one. The ulum of knowledge is foundation, sharia science, chain of narratives, or a text. Sharia, excellent. Then, number five. Recording of knowledge by heart is called hibs, writing, reading, listening. Yalla, quickly. Hibs. Five. You need to be quick. All of the following is halal to eat except olive oil, brown, horse, domestic donkey. Domestic donkey is haram to eat. Next one. How many breastfeeding mother for profit? Three other than his mom, four other than his mom, three including mom, two. Six. Yes. Number eight. All of the above are breastfeeding mother for profit except Amina. Thwaiba Halima Hajar. Number nine. What is the age of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when his chest was open and washed with Zamza Bora? Four, ten, forty-five, eighteen. Last one. All of the above are breastfeeding mother, uh, brother for Prophet except Hamza, Abdullah, Abu Salama, Omar ibn Khattab. Okay, this is the end of this one. Who came three, third? Saif? And then second? Hamza, Omran? Omran. And then the first, Umayza? MashaAllah. <laughs> Still two, there's still two. Still two. Yalla, don't exit, don't exit, stay. Yalla, play next. Get ready. Don't exit. Oh, yalla, start. Okay, the code is. Um, the code is one, four. Zero six five three five. Halas? Halas? Sit down, sit down. Abdullah Mubarak said, I spend how many years for learning Adam? Thirty. Yalla, sit down, sit down. Yalla, second. Dawood, sit down, finish. The usul is, why usul is? Usul is foundational fruit, fundamental and goals, fruits and foundation, one and three. One and three. Prayers is fardu ayn, fardu kifaya, mustahab, nothing. Fardu ayn, everyone should pray. Right, number four. Beauty is half of Iman, Ihsan, Islam, Dua. Beauty. Iman. Number five. 
The scales of this has how many balance? Three, four, one, two. Yalla, <laughs> last. Next question, number six. Types of pay of sabr. How many types of sabr? Sabr as a time of calamity. Uh, sabr, sabr to stop the sin. Sabr the ibadah. All of the above. All of the above. And then number seven. The first one who digs zamzam well is Jibril, Prophet Ibrahim, Hajar, Prophet Muhammad. Number eight. Abdullah, Abdul Muttalib sacrificed how many camels instead of his son Abdullah? 1,100, 500, 10. 100. Yalla. Allah sent birds to destroy the army. Each one has how many stones? 1, 2, 3, 5. You need to be quick. Last question. The chest of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam goes to Zamzam how many times? Four, two, five, one. Four, yes. Okay, let us see who is the, the third. Hamza, third. Oh my, the second. Oh, who is the first? Sahadi. Yalla. Oh, mashallah. Stay online, yalla. Stay online, stay online. Don't exit. Yalla. Yalla, don't exit. Yalla. Last one, this is the last one. Five questions only. Let's start. Okay. Three, two, one. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born, the ninth of Rabi al Awal, the twelfth of Rabi al Awal, the tenth, it is not confirmed, it could be the ninth and twelfth. Good, one, four. Oh, six, five, three, five. Okay. Question number two. For complete belief of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you have to believe what he informed us, copy his sunnah and manners, do salutation on him when he is named is mentioned. All of Okay. Yalla number three. Select the correct full name of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim. Muhammad ibn Abdul Muttalib ibn Abdul Abdullah ibn Hashim. We don't have the only So we are so close. Who is Fihr in Prophet name? Fihr is Ibn Abdul Muttalib, Hashim, Quraysh, Abdullah. Quraysh. Last question. Yalla, be quiet. Last question. Boys, be quiet. Last question. According to today's hadith or to the hadith, after you said, I believe you have to read Quran, do Hajj, be stayed fast, do nothing. Okay. Finish. <laughs> Third place. Salah al-Din. Second place, Isato. First time. And then the first one is uh, um, Ziyad. <laughs> okay, this is the end of the quiz of today. Unfortunately, we'll finish the program, but inshallah, looking for you to come this next inshallah holiday, the, the long holiday inshallah. I will check that. Okay, inshallah, uh, see you inshallah.